It's been 40 days since a Hawaiian monk seal pup was born on a busy Waikiki beach. And any day now, wildlife officials expect her mom, Rocky, to wean her. And once that happens, officials have a plan in place to ensure baby Kaimana has a long future ahead of her. Marissa Yamana joins us from Kaimana Beach with the latest. Marissa? <laughs> Hi, Joe. Rocky and her pup, they're not here right now. Maybe they're off swimming, but Kaimana sure has grown so much over the past five weeks. And this is the only home that she knows, but that's about to change because in a couple of days, mom will wean Kaimana and leave her here on the beach alone. And when that happens, officials say Kaimana will be very vulnerable and impressionable. Now, they don't want her to get used to being around humans when she's weaned, so she's going to be taken to an undisclosed remote shoreline area on Oahu where she will still be able to continue with her natural growth with less human interaction and potential hazards like the natatorium. During this time frame, they're very impressionable and they're learning about what it is to be a monk seal. And if the only thing they see is people, they're going to be conditioned to people. Um, we want to take the seal to a place where there's other monk seals where it can l observe and learn and watch and be a monk seal. This is a heavily used area. This has traditionally been an area for everybody to dive and to fish and you can see all the activity. Um, and I guess in the best interest of the pup, we want to minimize the interaction with the folks here. Now, a blessing ceremony was held this morning to send mom and pup off on their new journey, and officials say they plan to tag Kaimana to keep track of her. Now, once the two are gone from this area for good, the officials are going to be taking down this netting you see behind me. We do see some people in the background. It's still a no-no because mom and pup are still going to be coming into this area, and mom can get aggressive, so it's really for people's own safety. But once the all-clear is given, they'll take down this barrier, and the public can move back in. Reporting live from Waikiki, Marissa Yamane, KHON2 News.